uh, welcome once again in this video again I'm going to demonstrate uh, what is the what's the other fast functions we can gain by using the only debugger so as uh, computer users uh, day to day we are using many software applications right so most of the time when we need to do our task and we don't have enough software products that we go for the internet and search for the crack products because we need to do a proper way in order to fulfill our task right so here the cracking part is going to done by the reverse engineering so here the tool what we are using is only debugger but not only only debugger you can use debugging tools in order to use the reverse engineering right so what we are doing in the cracking is actually when we install a product it will ask for activation code to verify that you have bought uh, actually um, bought an uh, exact product so if you buy an exact product they will provide you uh, some uh, serial keys as the activation code right when you enter those keys uh, they will verify you that you have buyed the thing right so this kind of some keys and you enter the serial it will say that you have successfully registered or you have successfully purchased you have successfully activated your full version so this kind of messages you will get but by using this early debugger today I'm going to show how to bypass that verification function and activate the full version so that means uh, you are going to crack the part which is validating your serial keys right so if you plot that exact path you can bypass the verification process and you can get the full version that means uh, you can mimic that you have a uh, you have bought a full version of product so as usual I'm just starting my only debugger just wait a second I just import the exe file here so I just open and I have this this exe application so this exe application is a simple program which is written on the high level language to do this kind of demonstrations but actually when it comes to a real program it's a huge it's a huge assembly code and uh, you have need to go through each and everything right so the first thing is just I run the program and and show you right so here this is the program we got right again this same thing so register uh, anything you want right and enter the serial it will say oh the thing is yeah I have put some breakpoints previously that means in order to prepare for me for the for this video so sorry again uh, okay yeah the serial is incorrect right so I just exit it and if I close this one then we you will see that's a terminated one or something yeah it's terminated okay right so this is the simple one right so second time I am running this application just see clearly in the last video also I talk about the strings right the constant string values what we can see here you can see register and this enter serial exit and whatever you enter this enter registration code in the taskbar so these things this serial is incorrect so these kind of strings have been a constant value they won't change 
right so this serial is correct or this serial is incorrect so those things have been already defined in this application as a constant right so we can also use the string search in order to go for this one right so as usual right click on the disassembly window and uh, search for all reference string search so here you can see the thing is the serial is correct and the serial is incorrect in this case we are only getting the serial is incorrect right so what we want to get is the serial is correct so double click on this one it will directly make you to move on the disassembly window here this is the string that you can see that run if you double click uh, it will directly m locate you on the correct memory location because you can see it's the scroll bar is something in between so the serial is correct so the thing is we have need to know some verification process is just about to that one in order to verify the key what we are entering right so just go up and see uh, it's a push statement right and in before to that one is jump not zero so jump statement yeah I will explain what is jump not zero and it's a comparing right the comparing means is like a if statement yes consider uh, comparing to one is like a is equal to function in a strings we use is equal right uh, to compare two strings uh, smooth jump not zero comparing move jump not zero comparing yeah and this is a function right this is a function calling right this function is calling to the memory location of uh, 401 to this is somewhere around here right so actually the thing is we don't need to be worry about this one and uh, you know how to see the cause function where it's pointing is by entering or entering it will move to that directly that part but uh, by you if you want to see that memory address just click the space bar and you will get this window assembly at this memory location is pointing to a call function is pointing to that memory location right so and this is a, another a loop right so let's check here we are having a three jump statements j and set and j and set right so i am just putting a three breakpoints here because i need to know which is uh which jump statement is actually uh, which is which jump statement is actually doing right which is jumping that means uh verifying the process so but we are not sure that uh, as i said before the call functions can go here and there in order to execute their task so we are not sure sure that whether the thing will break here right because uh, all the things are not need to be execute for a single process right these all are the set of source course instructions that are built in the software product so I am just for the checking purpose whether this break is triggering I've just put uh, an, a break just before to the 75 to a opcode right anything I've just put here on the move if you want you can put somewhere up but the case is here there's a loop right so and there's a call function right for an example as I said if this call execute if you put any breakpoints here that means in this memory address it will trigger but the in actual case that when we step step in the things uh, yeah we step in the thing we can't realize the thing that means uh, the the call function needs to execute some other processes okay then okay we can run the program right I don't know what's this one okay 
okay I'll just run the program it will prompt right and we have need to put the registration activation code right so here I am put anything ABC 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 right I just enter the serial right here you can come and see it's paused right as I said before it's the break is triggered in something in between the before to this jump statements right so I've just go follow this instruction one by one by pressing their fate or this uh, this icon you can see a jump statement yeah after the comparing this one you can see the jump is not taken here the jump is not taken is jump not zero right jump not zero means a uh, yeah wait okay you can s read the instruction here what is the instruction is actually what's the process is running here in the small window the jump is not taken so here actually this is not jumping right so the jump not zero that means if the set flag the, s the set flag is zero then only it will jump right you got the idea yes jump not zero means uh, here the set flag is one right okay I just step down the process it's no issue right yet okay the jump not zero is not taken so here is one right so it won't jump it's no need to jump actually right okay we can that means uh, it's it won't jump means uh, you can see the, the cuts you can look the the total statement JN set short fake dot uh, to the memory address of four zero one two three six so four zero one two three six is this one is the serial is incorrect so if the jump is taken that will move to this one and uh, pop yeah push the fake that means push this message to us in order to pop right so if the jump is not taken it will continue to the next memory location yeah the jump is not taken and after this one you no need to step in the process right the actual case is I have just in the real program all the flags have been zero set to zero right here you yeah I will rerun the program right all the flags I have set to zero right but in my case I have already modified the set flags to one right so the jumps have been not taken so if you run this program and see the serial is correct right this message will automatically come if you remove the breakpoints as well let me check the thing right so I restart the program again go to register and type something no it's not triggering okay fine so I just make it as it is in the before so I just go to this uh, storing search search for all reference text string now it's a program is terminated so I need to restart the program search for all references string search the serial is correct and uh, whatever where I put the triggers uh, yeah in this case and uh, J and set this one and J and set here now it's a comparing and this is for checking purpose right right this case I have just 
make it as zero, right? And I run the program and let's check what is happening. Anything whatever you want. It will break here. Yeah. Here it's anyhow it's showing as not taken, but in this actual case it look like the jump is taken, right? If the jump is taken, that means I have changed the set flag to zero, right? Jump not zero. Right? The jump will take if that set flag is zero, right? If set flag is not zero, jump will not take place, right? Anyhow, the zero and one will be the flags, right? What will happen if the jump is taken? It will move to this memory location 401236, which prompting the serial is incorrect. So, this is the actual scenario before what this application consists. So I have already changed the set flags in order to one that means I no need to jump to that statement right because anyhow the verification is failed and it show the message as the serial is incorrect right so I need to get the serial is correct only that's the intention of this reverse engineering so I no need this jump to be taken right so I just change the set flag to one and I step down the process here is also again I have changed but in the real case the set flag is in zero that means jump not zero jump won't take place if the set flag is not zero that means if set flag is zero the jump will take place so you can see jump is taken again to the same memory location what is uh, printing the message the serial is incorrect so here you can see I plotted the three jump statements, right? I have plotted three jump statements, which, which are that means uh, which are look like a if conditions to verify the serial what we entered. So you can see the thing what we entered is here as well in the stack window, right? Here the ASCII code what we entered is this one. A B C A B C A B C and this one is also placed in the hex editor if you want to edit something here you can edit but actually here the no need right but in some cases you will find some that means uh, if that's a directly if statement the value which we are comparing with the user input is also needed to be hard coded in the software program right so anyhow that's also considered as a constant value so you can easily find the serial key there that means if that function is in if if kind of verification so here anyhow it's not in if but if that if we can if we are comparing the user input with the the correct activation code by using if condition the correct activation code also needs to be stored inside the program so in that case we can able to get that correct activation code and we can directly apply to that one to that uh, uh, to that program so anyhow that uh, I will do that kind of debugging in the coming video right so this kind of cracking can be done by the only debugger right so this is actually what we did is a cracking a simple cracking of a software right uh, yeah jump is not taken and anyhow we can run the program no need to worry this one right so you can see the serial is correct without anything you entered is correct right so thank you for watching this video